in this video i am going to discuss on data model so let's have a complete discussion data model so in the success factor as of today so we have four data models one is succession data model second one is a country specific succession data model we have corporate data model fourth one is country specific corporate data model these two are used to define the portlet these two used to configure the structure of the company so in success factor we are calling as a foundation object okay so if i go back to 2014 so organization structure we are completely defining using the corporate data model however from 2015 december onwards some of the objects they started moving to the mdf object okay so now we are calling as a mdf ff some of the object we are configuring in the mdf mdf is nothing but managed data framework so we are calling as a mdf f4 okay so considering this two we are defining the structure of the company okay or we are calling as a hierarchy of the company so it's nothing but so legal entity so below that we have the business unit so we have division department so these are the standard object and this is the flow from or hierarchy of the success factor and in between if i want to customize it we can do the customization so that we will discuss later just i am giving the corporate data model uh, we have two kinds of one is uh, uh, f4 another one is mdf f4 so coming to foundation object still we are using for location location group so we have something called pay grade so pay group so pay component so these are all we are defining in the corporate data model so all this data model we can import and export in the provisioning however it's not mandatory so these two succession and country specific data model we can define using manage business configuration manage business in instance level coming to mdf object so this since beginning we are working in the instance level only from 2020 or we are calling as from h1 releases even the foundation object we can import and export data model in the instance level itself okay it's not mandatory that we, we are required the provisioning for initial setup is we have we, we need a provisioning but later is not mandatory that uh, we need to do all import and export all the data model in the provisioning everything we can do at instance level however sometimes we need to do some changes in the succession data model and that should be imported in the provisioning okay so later i will explain what is the scenario so what and all the issues will come if you directly do the changes in the manage business configuration okay so these are the basic uh, discussion about the 
about data models let's go and see in the provisioning where we are doing all these important export activities once you log into the provisioning just click on company so inside the company just go to little bit down so we have something called a succession management so here we have the important import or export data model is nothing but a succession data model and we have important export country specific succession data model the corporate data model and important export country specific corporate data model so these are the four data model which we are using in the employee central module if still if you want to know the history of uh, further uh, in, in the 2014 we had seven data model so if i added another three so we had propagation data model workflow data model and even derivation data model all these now they are migrated into rule based so in success factor we have something called rule engine so using the rule engine so we can define all these three data model uh, three data model requirement in in the using the business rules okay so that is the reason those three are absolute so next one is so when you start the project what is the sequence you know required to import the data model if ec is not implementing then you can import the succession data model however you need to remove all ec related portlets sections that we are calling as hras element okay so this should be removed in the succession data model then you have to import it if ec is implemented Yes, we need to be added all these HRS element. There is nothing but portlets related. Okay. However, before that, we need to import the corporate data model. Because in the succession data model, we have portlet called job information. Okay. As a standard, we have some set of codes related to foundation object example location or location group so these are the code which we are defined in the corporate data model the system it will cross check whether those codes are existed in the system first if you are not imported the corporate data model then system it will throw an error message these are the codes not existed in the system okay so because of that reason First, you need to import the corporate data model or next one is country specific corporate data model. Later, you can import the succession data model. Or you can import the first one is a corporate data model and uh, this is so uh, rarely we will do the changes. Otherwise, we can uh, consider this and also as the absolute it is not at all required. Less than requirement, we can use it but however, as per knowing my in my previous project almost seven projects so we have not done too much changes in, in the country specific uh, data model so later import the succession data model and country specific succession data model so these three are very important so so you should know you now we had a discussion about what would be the sequence uh, to import the data model so first one is corporate data model uh, succession data model and uh, country specific succession data model and we know the what is the reason behind to import this sequence so if you want to open the data model so you need to install the basic xml pad okay or you can do the changes in the notepad also okay or not plus but however you will get the free software in uh, google and sap also recommended and uh, they have provided some link so using that link so we can uh, download the the free software basic xml pad to open the data models so in the beginning of the video so i explained that once you've done all your changes so you can do the validation with the <coughs> dtd files okay in the same folder your xml or your data model plus uh, dtd of the respective data model should be in the same folder then only you can do if you do have any 
the semantic <coughs> system it will do the semantic check if any errors are there or if you are not defined as per sap standard uh, then system it will throw an error message okay so for example if any of the field visibility equal to both so instead of this small letter if you are mentioned like this both system it will check this syntax is not existed okay so if you are properly defined so you no need to do the validation okay so this is all about basic of uh, xml uh, pad so now let's